Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a harder question here. So once again, we're going to have two loads uh, connected on the same supply. So in this case, we've got three coils with a 45 degree leg. They're connected in Y. And to the same circuit, we've got three 20.846 microfarad capacitors and they are connected in delta to the same three phase 600 volt supply. The question is, what is the total current of the circuit? So let's go ahead and um, draw it out. So I've got the three coils there and the three capacitors. Um, we'll start by beginning to work on the Y side. So in this case, they just give us the uh, 600 volt supply. So we're going to have to determine our phase voltage first. So V phase is equal to V line divided by root 3. So in this case, 600 volts divided by root 3. We know it's about 347, but we're going to use the exact calculation, 346.4 volts. And then we are going to go ahead and calculate our phase current. We go V phase divided by our impedance in each phase. So that's 346.4 volts divided by our 30 ohms. And that comes to approximately 11.55 amps. All right, so we know that the line current and the phase current are the same thing. So we just got to figure out where to plot this. So once again, we're adding line currents to get our total line current. We have to use the line voltage as the reference for this Y because VAB exists in both the Y and delta, so we have to use a common reference. And so if that is our reference, we have to plot our phase voltage 30 degrees down at 330 degrees. Now in our circuit here, it says each one of these coils lags by 45. So we have to take 330 and subtract 45. Let's see how that works out. IA of our Y, line current IA, is going to be equal to 11.55 amps at 330, subtract 45 because it's lagging, and that comes to one or 285 degrees. So right there. So that should be our values. Okay. Let's plot that on here. Let's see what it looks like. So minus 45 from 330, about 285. So that's 45 degrees back. So we've got the first line current right here. All right, let's go ahead and work on the delta. Um, so we're going to put on the, remember all the ways uh, we do delta and all the formulas for delta. Now, this question starts back at capacitance in each phase. So capacitance isn't that great to us. So I didn't put it on here, but this is a 60 hertz circuit as well. So we have to first figure out our capacitive reactance in each phase. So we use So we use our formula 1 over 2 pi Fc. So if you put that reactant, that capacitance through this, it should work out to about 127.247 ohms. All right. So the next thing we can do is we could calculate our phase current. So our Ixc in each phase. So I the phase. For this one, we're going to take our voltage of the phase and divide it by our Xc in the phase. So we have a 600 volt supply, and we're going to divide it by the 127.4 or 247 ohms. And our phase current will work out to about 4.715. Okay. Let's see where we'd put that. So there's our phaser diagram. Here's our phase voltage, VAB. We know capacitance um, or capacitive reactance causes current to lead by 90 degrees. So it's a leading current.
current. So we have to go up 90 degrees and plot it leading. So it's going to go right there. There's our I of our phase. IAB is right up here. Okay. So let's go ahead and calculate line current now. We can use our root 3 formula because we have the same capacitors in each phase, so it's still balanced. Same, same opposition and same power factor. So I line equals I phase times root 3. So that's 4.715 amp times root 3. And that would come to about 8.167. So there's our line current. Now we know that and we have a balanced circuit. The second rule is there that I line will lag lag I phase by 30 degrees. So if I come back 30 degrees from my phase current, that puts us at 60 degrees. So I A of the delta is equal to 8.167 amps, line current A, at 60 degrees. All right, let's go ahead and add these up. So one last step here, adding the two line currents at their angles. So I A total is going to be equal to I A of the Y plus line current IA of the delta at its angle. So we've got 11.55 amps at 285 degrees plus 8.167 amps at 60 degrees. And that should come to 8.167 amps at negative 30, which really means positive 330 degrees. So we ended up correcting this circuit to unity and right at 330 degrees. So it's basically in phase, uh, current is in phase with the voltage. All right, hopefully that helps out. A little bit of a tougher one, uh, and we'll see you on the next video.